So anatomically modern humans, Homo sapiens sapiens, arose approximately 200,000 years ago. In fact, here, these red dots are representing locations where fossils have been found of anatomically modern humans. And the oldest fossil is dated to around 150 to 195,000 years ago in southern Ethiopia. We also see evidence of early modern human behavior dated to 70,000 years ago or even as old as 120,000 years ago in caves in South Africa and also some from uh, East Africa as well. So after modern humans arose in Africa within the past 200,000 years, one or a few small groups of individuals migrated um, across the rest of the globe within the past 50,000 to 100,000 years. Indeed, we think that um, Europeans, there were no people in Europe, actually, until about 40,000 years ago. And then um, modern humans crossed the Bering Straits and went into the Americas within the past 30,000 years. The earliest migration event was actually into Australia, Melanesia, dated to about 40 to 60,000 years ago. And then we have much more recent um, migration events, such as into the Pacific Islands within the past few thousand years. Now, Interestingly, when modern humans migrated out of Africa within the past 50 to 100,000 years, they would have run into Neanderthals. In fact, they overlapped in their distribution. So shown here is the distribution of Neanderthals. And the modern humans who lived at that time were referred to as Cro-Magnon. And in fact, we did not see anatomically modern humans in this region, in Europe, until about 40,000 years ago. They would have been in the Middle East a little bit earlier. But it appears that they overlapped for about at least 10,000 years with Neanderthals. And as we'll discuss later, there is some evidence that there could have been actual admixture between Neanderthal and anatomically modern humans during that time. 